Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Karen and this is Southern Ketovore and I wanted to do just a really quick video on electrolytes for you. Um, right now we are at the first of the year. A lot of folks are starting in on a low carbohydrate diet, whether it is keto, ketovore, or carnivore, or just traditional low carb, or you might be starting any other diet in the world. Um, but electrolytes are something that especially this time of year come up a lot as people start to adjust with their new eating regimen. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of offer you guys some of um, what I have found to personally be helpful along in my journey. Um, at this point I've been at this about five and a half years so I've learned how to um, keep my own electrolytes in balance uh, but in a nice frugal way. Your girl is on a budget. Um, <laughs> I know that there are really amazing products on the market. We have Element and Redmond's Relight and all of uh, Ultima and there are several others that are really good products. Um, but in, it, in my personal budget, it's just not something that I have room for. So uh, while I have tried those things in the past and I am not by any means minimizing them or, or saying that they don't work or that they're a waste of money because they aren't. They're absolutely amazing. Uh, but for me, it's not something that I'm able to um, include in my normal day-to-day -day life. Uh, instead, we have established a way. It's, it's an old recipe. It's been around for, <laughs> since I started with keto. Uh, it was an old keto raid recipe and several people had different variations of that. And so that is what I make. Um, typically, I make it in my 32 ounce Contigo water bottle. Uh, yes, it's plastic and uh, don't come at me for that. Everybody, you choose your water bottle. Okay, yes, doing something that is glass or uh, one of the stainless ones might be a little bit better for me health wise, but in my experience, it was all about finding a water bottle that I liked to carry and that I liked to drink out of. The actual sensation of drinking out of it has to be there for me, uh, something that I enjoy or I'm just going to leave it. Uh, I'll leave it in the car, I'll leave it at work, <laughs> I will leave it anywhere and I will not use it. So I had to find a water bottle that I like to use. I have had this water bottle for seven years. We've actually had three of them in the house uh, with different ones of us using them. Um, one of my neighbors scraping all of the shingles off their roof. So if you're wondering what that noise is, this one still has our little piggy sticker from our bar on it too. Some kind of, uh, especially partial to it. Um, but typically when I make my electrolytes, and I'm going to show you in this video how I make them, um, I use my 32 ounce water bottle. Richard has a stainless one, uh, like a hydro jug uh, that he uses, but it's also 32 ounce. So um, the recipe that I'm going to share with you is for a 32 ounce water bottle. Um, if you are using like say just a traditional disposable water bottle like one of the 16 ounces you would just cut this in half. Um, in addition obviously you can scale up or down. I normally have at least one of these a day um, during the summer. I always have at least two a day just because it gets very very hot here. Um, but in general most of the time I actually do have two uh, and if I'm really active I might have a third one um, just depending. But uh, this is something that I have found has really helped me along the way since I started making this to supplement. Um, now, like I said, I'm not knocking the other ones. I think that they are all amazing. And if you have it in your budget to, to do something like Element or um, the Redmond's or something, definitely give them a try because they're wonderful products. Uh, but this is just something that is, uh, you know, if you're willing to um, do something at home and make it at home and you know, it's actually really easy and pretty convenient, then maybe give it a shot. So that's, uh, that's what this video is going to be. Let's go. Okay. Let's make electrolytes, shall we? So here is everything that we are going to need to make some super inexpensive, budget friendly, frugal friendly, uh, broke girl friendly, whatever works for you. Um, sort of homemade electrolytes. So right now I am filling up my uh, 32 ounce water bottle and I'm just throwing some ice and some water in that and I'm leaving just a little bit of room in the top of the bottle so that it is ready to go. I use a little Contigo 32 ounce water bottle, plastic police, 
step off, man. You do you. Uh, I have found that this is the only water bottle that I've been able to commit to, so it is the one that I use. Uh, it, what you need to do is find a water bottle that you're willing to carry. So what we're going to need today, some Morton Light Salt. So Morton Light Salt is something that is marketed to people who can't have sodium because it has potassium in it to help with the salty flavor, but... This uh, is something that I have used for a long time. Uh, it contains plenty of sodium, plenty of potassium. It does have dextrose, but it is less than 0.04% dextrose, which is insignificant. Uh, it does not affect my blood sugar, does not affect my ketones, so I'm not worried, but you do you. Uh, additionally, I am buying uh, the bulk supplements. This is magnesium citrate, and I use this... Um, instead of magnesium glycinate, simply because uh, the magnesium citrate helps a little bit with constipation in case you have any kind of bowel issues. So I keep this on hand because of the hubby. So for one full teaspoon, there's about 330 milligrams of magnesium. Um, I do not use a full teaspoon or I would be living on the toilet. Uh, additionally, the last thing that you will need, which is optional, it's going to be a water enhancer. Uh, I have a little bowl of flavors. As you can probably see, I have multiples of the strawberry lemonade from, from Crystal Light. This is my absolute favorite flavor, but we use the blue raspberry. All of these do contain sucralose. So this is one of those things. Guys, you got to remember, you do you, but all of the water enhancers for the most part do contain sucralose. We have a few of the Mio's, the one with the caffeine, the one without, um, again, contain sucralose, but they are zero carb. So for me personally, I've tested my glucose and ketones with these and they work just fine. You can also use uh, like lemon juice or lime juice or lime wedges or lemon wedges or just avoid anything and just use the light salt and the magnesium. You do you, whichever thing works best. Uh, it's going to be just fine. So I make this easier and I put these in containers so that it's easier to measure out every day. Uh, whenever I go to make these, I, I have my water bottle ready and I use a quarter teaspoon measuring spoon. So we are going to first start with our Morton Light Salt. Using my little quarter teaspoon, I'm going to do two of these. So a half teaspoon of the Morton Light Salt, which is gonna provide about 290 milligrams of sodium and 350 milligrams of potassium. And then once we add that, we're gonna move on to the magnesium citrate. And if you buy the glycinate instead, you would use the same amount. I use an eighth teaspoon, and we do this just to avoid any kind of disaster pants, but there's about 40 milligrams of magnesium in that, and it seems to suffice just fine for us. Again, the strawberry lemonade is my favorite. And here on my beautiful new cutting board, I made a disaster. Yeah, I hit the ice. So spatter went everywhere. It got on my face. It got on my cutting board. It got on my counter. Whatever. I wiped up. Uh, but yeah, so I add my flavoring. Again, you can skip that if you don't like it. And then I put my top on. And we give her a shaky, shaky shake. And then boom. Homemade electrolytes for pennies. So I will include the amounts that I spent on everything here in the video so you'll know. 